Welcome back to Hooked Up Video and our brand new show for 2020 called Rig Rundown. This is the show where we go into a shed somewhere, have a few beers, get a really cool boat that's been fitted out really well and give you the rundown on it. Today I'm with a very special guest and a very special boat. I've got Mick Kelly and his amazing Strawn Formula 233. This thing has been fitted out to the hilt and we're here at the Savage Trailers factory largely because this boat is sitting on a Savage Trailers Pro Series and that's the first thing we're going to talk to Mick about. Uh, so Mick, tell us, let's start off with the, the bottom of the rig. Yep. Is the trailer or always the trailer? You've got a Savage Trailers Pro Series. Uh, why'd you go Savage? We started off with a second hand Dumbia trailer. Um, didn't like it. Um, we're based here in Caram Downs, drove past and actually just saw Savage Trailers on the side of the road, went in and spoke to Ben and here we are. Yeah, wow. So uh, pretty interesting you've gone for a triaxle. Yep. Which potentially you probably didn't need. I mean, I haven't spoken to Ben about it. Was that, did you choose triaxle or did yep. Ben suggest it? You, you want to triaxle just yep. for the security of it or? Planning on doing a fair bit of traveling. Yep. Ben suggested three is better than than, oh, six is better than six is four. Six is better than four, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. So we just went with his, his uh, suggestion. Cool, and so uh, torsion axles? Yes, they are, yep. Yeah, awesome. And then obviously braked, and um, do you know what the weight is of the rig, and do you want to say it in Victoria on camera? <laughs> you don't have to. Um, we haven't weighted on this trailer, but on the old trailer, it was pretty spot on to four and a half tonne. And was that a gal trailer? Or it was a gal trailer. It was trailer. a gal trailer, yep. so maybe a little bit lighter now. Correct, yep. And have you added a bit of stuff since then? We have, yep. We've um, done a, the electronic fit out since we, we have uh, weighted. Yeah, okay, right. So that's not going to add too no. much weight. So let's talk about the hull. Um, you guys, so to, to give some, um, to some background on it, there's yep. three owners, correct? Correct. And you guys call yourselves two wogs and a skip. Skip, correct. Two wogs and a skip. You're obviously the skip with a name like Mick Kelly. Absolute. Okay. <laughs> and why do you choose a Strawn 233 um, over, I guess, any other boat? And in particular, there's a few 233s on the market, Eden Craft, Bass Straight Up. Why would yep. you go for the Strawn? Um, always loved them. Yep. There's all there's a bit of history behind the Strawn formula with the poaching side of things. Yeah, yep. Um, know that it handles the offshore really well. So we found Mark Levy, he's got the moulds for him and here it is. It's essentially just been finished today as of shooting, hasn't Correct, it? Correct, yes. And so what date was it when you started it from concept to get it to this point? We went and saw Levy probably early March yeah, okay. um, and basically said to him we want the boat. Um, he said he can build it after Easter and so basically uh, April onwards. This is quite the wrap you've got here. Absolutely. So, I mean... <laughs> Starting off, we've got some big barracuda. Yep. I can see Poseidon sitting down the end. Correct. The Acropolis, I'm sure that was the <laughs> WOG's input to get Poseidon and the Acropolis in. Yes, it is. Uh, who, who did the wrap and how did this all come about? Um, Exotic Customs in Caram Downs as well. Yep. Um, so they do design and the finish and application, yep. everything, yep. We went to them and said, we want mean fish. Yep. But we also don't want anything that you see on the internet. Yep. Um, we want plenty of detail that sitting out in the bay you, you don't see but when you're up close there's yeah. plenty of detail yeah. and this is what they come up with and all right well let's um let's move around from here to the transom and talk about the transom no worries okay so uh here we are back at the transom um can very much see you've got twin yams we'll get to that in a second it's really important yep. but i noticed as well on the transom you've got trim tabs yep you went for lenkos was there any reason why you chose lenkos or just suggested, just suggested. <clears throat> researched them. Yep. Um, they're Lanco trim tabs, but custom made plates from Quality Marine. Oh, okay, very yep. cool. Okay, yep. And do you need them when the boat's running? Uh, is it more just a balance or do you need them to pull the nose <clears throat> down or? Don't really need them for running. It's just more positioning of Positioning, people. okay, yeah. yep. Once, so. once we're up and running, it's it's not too bad, but people move in the boat as, okay, as so they always do. It's just for that balance and shifting Correct. weights and things. Yep. Okay, and I noticed you've got underwater lights as well. What, Correct. What underwater lights are they? Um, they are actually um, dual colour. They, so you push the button, they come on white. You double click the button, they go to, go to blue. Yep. Um, and, and they strobe as well? Yes, they do. Yes. Yeah, cool. Yep. And did you get them for the trick factor or are you going to try and implement them into your fishing as well? <laughs> try a bit of both. Yeah, yep. yeah. Apparently they work really good strobing on like teasers and dredges and Correct, that kind yeah. of thing. Yep. So they are... Sea Blaze by Loom Tech. Sea Blaze by Loom Tech. Uh, they strobe, change colour, yep. do all that kind of thing. Now, the power. Um, yes. Twin Yamaha 225s fitted by Streaker, I can see. Correct, yep. Now, why did you go um, Yamaha first off? 
we rang um, Streaker Marine and, and Paul and Sean there were just unbelievable to deal with, so that's, cool. that's why we went with them. What speeds are you getting at the moment? Um, best we've had it is about 54 knots at about 5,000. Yeah, wow. But, but just haven't had the conditions out there to really see what it can do. So, yep. Yep. so you've still got another 1,000 RPM to go. <laughs> Correct, yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. So, and that was 50 knots at 5,000? Correct, yep. Yeah, wow. And does she feel good going at those speeds? Yeah, no problem at all. Yep. It was pretty choppy out in, the, out in Port Phillip Bay. It was probably half a metre to a metre. Um, and yeah, handled it, no worries at all. All right, well, let's get in and start talking about the, the cockpit and the helm and all, all the goodies in there. Yep. All right. Okay, so we entered in the dive door. This is a swing round dive door. Nice big stainless mm -hmm. bolt on it. And one other cool thing I just noticed about this dive door is, is the hinge is like a big bolt. Um, so this just slides out. It's obviously brand new, so it's a little bit stiff. I'm sure it'll loosen up with some, some grease. You slide that out, chuck it in the side pocket. There's also a side pocket built in to the door, and then you can remove the whole thing completely. Now we'll get to the nitty gritties of the cockpit, because there's lots of stuff going on in here. Okay, so let's talk about your stainless and your hardware a little bit first. Yep. Obviously very normal looking to Victorians like us, but to people watching from interstate, they're gonna be going, what's the deal with all this shit? Snapper racks. Correct. Snapper fishermen. Yep. So you've got your snapper racks. Are you going to leave them in full time or pull them in? No, and they're out? totally removable. So yep. they just lift in and out. Great. Um, the actual boat is going for offshore fit up tomorrow. So we'll get uh, rod holders put all around for the offshore fishing and, and slimy tubes and all that type of stuff. Um, but at the moment, because we're coming into the snapper season, we thought we'd... Get the get, racks done first. Yep. Now, one thing you'll notice, you know, looking at this is that the... The, the gun rods are really small, really thin, and that's because obviously this was designed as an abalone Correct, yep. diving boat by, by Cam Strawn. Yep. Um, so you're gonna get them custard done. They all custom because it's so uh, skinny so thin, and it's yep. rounded, so they've yep. all gotta be custom made. Okay, cool. Because I noticed you've got the shotgun, you've got your yep. outriggers already on. Correct, yeah. And who did your stainless work? Quality Marine in Caram Downs yet again. Okay. And um, the bait board, is that done by Mark Levy as well? No. Uh, Quality Marine again. Quality Marine yep. did the bait boards. They yep. did all this fit out. Correct. Okay, so now moving down towards the transom. Down in the transom, we have, uh, it's about 80 litres, you reckon? 80 litres. 80 litre yeah. live well with a window, which is yep. very cool for all those squid you're wanting to go and catch. Absolutely. Um, and obviously plumbed and aerated, all that kind of thing. Um, and then I noticed I was expecting to find batteries in here, but you've basically got your autopilot there and just a bit of plumbing, but it's pretty clean. Yep. Um, inside these hatches just for, I guess, some extra storage and things Correct, like that. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and then obviously bait board we talked about. And then down here, you have this fully sick fully <laughs> Formula sick. 233 mm. by two wogs in a skip uh, bilge plate. And this is pretty easy to, to lift yep. up and- Just lift straight up. Oh yeah, sick. Yeah, nice one. So yeah, you've got lots of room to work out in there. Yep. Awesome. And then one thing that's pretty interesting, like looking at this boat from the outside, I would have assumed that you would have gone which is you know, quite in vogue at the moment, like a sea deck or a deck armour and the names engraved in that, but you've gone flow coat, yep. old school rubber tube matting. Correct. Nice one. What was, what was the thought process behind doing that? Um, easy. Yeah, okay. Just nice and easy, pull it out, clean it, put yep. it back in. Um, it's not as pretty as the deck armour and all that type of stuff, but... But it works, it it look, works. and it looks good too. Yep. It's the same colour as the boat. Yep. You've obviously got your storage mount rod holders as well. Correct. Nice deck wash. Yep. And big side pockets. And I'm assuming you'll eventually add clips and stuff to add gaffs and things like that Absolutely. over on the um, yep. on the port side. More stuff to go in. More stuff to yep. go in. Very cool. But that's that's all easy bits from here. Absolutely. You've done the hard work. Man, what to talk about next? There's so much. I think the next thing we need to focus on mm -hmm. is the hard top because that's that's pretty special and unique to one of it these is. boats. Yep. Okay, so I've not seen a strawn with this hard top on it, so I'm figuring this is custom, something you guys have designed. It is, yep. We um, actually found the hard top. Okay. Um, it wasn't that shape and we've um, asked Mark Levy to cut and, and change it around a little bit to how we like it and this is a finished product. Awesome. And I noticed that um, you know, you've, you've allocated an upper area for your fusion stereo system, Garmin radio, yep. and there's a switch panel in there and a compass. Correct. Yep. That, that was your design too? Yep. 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 Your speakers are hanging there as well? Speakers underneath. Um, all the lights are on a switch panel up, stop, up top. Um, and yeah, we just wanted to neaten up the dash and just get everything up high. Yeah, nice, nice. Because I mean, in these in these strawns, because of that that lift up section into the cabin, you do not have a lot of dash, dash room. Space. So you've yep. you've really got to work to make the most of that, Correct, don't you? Correct. Yep. And up on top, it's housing obviously the rocket launchers. Yep. Anchor light, your aerials. Yep. Nava floods. Yep. Um, which are really handy when you're snapper fishing. 
Uh, and then you've got Radar and Fleur. Correct. Very cool. So you guys just went the full hog with this, didn't you? Absolutely. Everything. Very We've nice. We've also put the nav lights up on top. Um, other boats, you get reflection from nav lights in, in Into your screens, yeah, Into right. Screens. I noticed so, that, it, yeah. So we've mounted them up at, up the top as well. That's too. a great idea. Yeah. And it would probably make you more visible to other boats with them up there as well. Correct, yeah. Nice one. And um, I'm assuming stainless again done by Quality Marine. Correct, yep. And electronics, we started talking about electronics. We're going to get more in-depth in it shortly, but all your yep. lights, all this kind of stuff. Who was this done by? Uh, Coastline Marine in Carrum Downs as well. Okay, so why'd you go with them? Just because they're local or? Um, no, we actually shopped around to a few places. Um, we wanted to make a boat how we wanted it. Yep. Um, and Nick was more than obliging to, to do it the way we wanted it. Nice one. Still lots more to go. So let's get into the fun bit. Oh, before we do, I've noticed you've put, um, you've joining in with your clears and your screens and we'll yep. talk about them in a second, but you've got curtains Correct. at the back of the helm to keep you enclosed. Not so much for when we're fishing. It's when we're at um, home again at Patterson Lakes. Right. <clears throat> Come in at night, we just drop the curtain, walk nice. away. We don't have to put any storm covers on or anything like that. Everything's up in the front and, and dry and protected. I noticed there is studs on the outside. So do you have a storm we cover? We have a storm cover. We also got a windscreen protection cover. Yep. Um, covers over the Fleur camera and the Garmin as well. Awesome. And who was all this work done by? All by Avtec in, Caram in, uh, in Cranbourne. Avtech in Cranbourne. Correct. Okay. And you went for the um, the polycarbonate clears, I can see, Correct. which yep. look gorgeous. They are. Hard, humble. tough, really clear. Yep. Yep. Awesome. And your screens don't look stock either. What's the no, deal with the, your screens? They're all uh, laminated glass. Yep. And we wanted the aluminium to be all anodized to the same color of the boat. Yeah, it's color coded on the edges, Correct. and that does look really cool. Yep. Uh, and your supports and everything again was all done by Quality Marine, was yep, it? Yep, yeah. The whole so lot. it's very, very custom. I mean, yep. Yeah. Everything, um, everything that's basically on the boat, we worked with every single person, spent a lot of time with them, and got what we wanted. Awesome. Very cool. All right, let's get in this helm and talk about everything that's going on in here. Okay. So here we are in the helm. So I've I've spent heaps of time in one of these boats, these Strawns, with the same setup on the dash. And it's a difficult dash to work with. It is. It's on a slope. It's, it's not the same flat open dash as like a, an Eden Craft or the, the original formula. Yep. But you do have this nice big space where this flits up, sorry, flips up. Yep. And your cabin door opens and you get into your cabin easily. You've got nice steps there and I can see you've got storage on one of those steps. That's all our battery set up in there. So that's your batteries under there in your step down to the cabin. Correct, yep. And a nice place to have it, I suppose, yep. up, up forward. So before we get too, too much into what's going on behind here, you guys have had to work, obviously, with all the stuff you're putting on the yep. boat to fit it into essentially, really, this space here. Correct. So, you've got command link for your Yamahas. Yep. Facing forward, it's, I guess that's an optional thing to get engine data because you're nemering everything to twin 12-inch Garmin's. Correct. Okay. Now, I haven't seen this yet, but I've, been, I've heard about it. Tell me about this top Garmin here. The top Garmin? Well... We wanted a clean dashboard. We didn't want to reconfigure the dashboard in any way, shape or form. Um, sun glare is a big issue. Yep. So we come along and we've made a flip up screen, eliminates all the sun glare. That is fucking awesome. Yep. Pretty easy. That is so <laughs> awesome. So whack a button. Yep. No, I'll hold next, it. Yep. So one's up, one's down. That's so cool. So that's a customised hydraulic lift Correct. for your unit. Yep. And then you can just adjust it for adjust the sun. It. Yep, absolutely. So I made and designed all the stainless steel backing, the rams underneath it, and then just put it onto a uh, switch panel. That is so cool. So these are obviously networks. So you can switch sound or GPS, whichever one Swap you want between mobile. the two. Yep. And the FLIR. FLIR camera can go in between the two. Yep. Um, when we're running, obviously GPS, radar, whatever on, if it's at night, we, we put the uh, floor camera on the top screen and away we go. That's so awesome. And, and obviously engine data as well. Correct. Because um, it's all networked through your NEMA. And what about your Fusion? Does that link through to... Yes. Can you see the songs you're playing and yep. everything on your yeah, Garmin too? Yeah, we can too? run it all off that as well. So why would you choose Garmin? Was it because it networks so well with Yamaha or...? That's one of the main reasons. And we went to the boat show, shopped around. These seem pretty user-friendly. Cool. And transducer um, for the sounder? Yep, we've got a one kilowatt uh, high wide transducer. Um, B175? Yep, yep, that's to start with. 
We'll see how we go offshore fishing. Yep. We can always add on. And um, I noticed that your trim tab switch is just here behind the wheel. Do you think in hindsight you probably would have preferred to have it as your throttles came down over here? Absolutely. You always make mistakes when you're yeah, doing yeah, things. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, That's why know, they call them projects, yeah, you know. Um, if I had the time again, I would have, I would move that up. And there. you still could. It's only one yeah. small hole. It's a bit difficult doing multiple people doing the, doing the boat fitter. Yeah, of course. Um, someone so, did the engines and someone did your switches. So the, the engines yep. went in first. So we had to try and position stuff where we weren't going to interrupt on, on here. Yep. Um, and these faults happen. Yeah, sure. Yep. And Sea Star hydraulic steering on your yep. engines. Uh, now these switch panels. Um, so you've got one. Sorry, put that down. Yep. You got these really nice stainless LED lit up switch panels. Yep. So I notice you've got two. You've got one up here in your. I mean, what would you call this? Uh, bulkhead. Up. Yeah, your yeah. bulkhead up at yep. home bulkhead. Yep. Um, compass as well. So yep. is this? This is all your lighting. Is That's it? all the lighting. Yep. And then we run all the um, bilge pumps and deck all wash that and everything through there. Correct. So one thing I did notice that was pretty difficult when I tried to do a couple of switches for the camera before yep. is that when it's dark or even we've got the lights of the camera um, flashing in, you can't yep. actually see what's what. What's what. Yeah. So you've pretty much got to memorize them. <clears throat> yep. Or change them. Or change them. We're thinking about getting a laser cut out with a background light with in it. With a backlight in it. Yep. Yeah. I think that's what you'll have to do because they're just too hard to see what's they are. what. They are. And if you're on a fish or something and you say to a mate, chuck my deck wash on or chuck the live rum on, it's going to be hard. hard. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And th that's, I mean, that's the cool thing is why we're doing this show is because we want guys that go, yeah, that's really cool. I like that switching system, but... It's exactly what we did. I need a We lead. looked at it and went, how cool is this? Yeah. We've got to do it. But then now, boat's all fitted up. we got to use it. It is hard you to You can't read. say, yeah, yeah, yep. cool. That's awesome. Um, and you, you look, you've achieved what you wanted. It is a really clean, functional, aside from the switch issue, it's yep. really functional. Everything's kind of at your fingertips. Yep. This is a great idea that I think after this, a lot of guys are going to want to implement. Yep. So when you say you designed the stainless for it, who did you actually talk to about getting it powered and lifting up and down? Did and it all myself. You did all that yourself? Yep. That's awesome. So I just made up basically a timber cutout, made sure that it would, you know, go up and down, no problems. Um, went to John again, said, this is what I want. Gave him a, he cut it into stainless. Cut it all into stainless, welded it all up for me, and I mounted it and fitted it all up. And powered it. Powered it, yeah. With, with its whatever yep. motor it's got. Yep. So Nick at Coastline, I just said, those two switches I want as up and up down. Up and down, yep. And once I fitted all the RAM and did all that type of stuff, he just wired in the switches. So essentially, yeah, I'm watching this, there's no one they can go to to get it done. No. Yeah. But the <laughs> idea is there at least. Absolutely. And I'm sure someone can pull it off. Yeah. Like, There'll be someone that can start customising things that way. Absolutely. Yeah, and um, you've obviously got, this is really important, and we're going to hang shit on anyone that doesn't have a hatch <laughs> for wallet keys and phone. Because it's so often overlooked, but you jump in the boat, everyone's got their wallet keys, their phone. Dry you want to chuck it somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And we've that's... also got, in the top there, we've got phone chargers and stuff. Oh, awesome. Okay, so yep. that's powered too. Yep. Yep. So that's it's got USB charger and stuff, so chuck your phone in there on charge and away you go. Very cool. And one thing actually we did bypass is these lovely seats. These relaxing are beautiful. Seats. So they're relaxing brand? Yes, they are. Yep. Okay. Yep. Lighting in the helm. You've got lighting in the cockpit that we didn't talk about. Correct. So take us through what you've got in the helm and the cockpit. Um, so we've gone strip lighting everywhere. Yep. With um, really beautifully yep. elegant diffusers. Yes. Who, who does these? Uh, we actually imported them. Did you? Because yep. I've not seen these and I like yep. them a lot. So I'm going to put them in my boat. They're full... Um, full aluminium channel yep. with a diffuser on it um, and then we just put the strip lights inside them. That's awesome. So you've got them in the upper side pocket yes. for just cockpit lighting when you're running, when you're fishing, all yep. that kind of thing. And does that change colours? All RGB. All right. Show us. Show us. Yeah. Um, as again, can't see it. Yeah, <laughs> but you know where it is. Yeah. Um, so we've got deck light. So in here. Okay, so helm light. Yep. Now, what this will do for anyone watching um, that is maybe a Port Phillip based snapper fisherman, this will turn this whole helm purple and you'll see it from miles away. All off a switch. And all off a control. So we can just turn whatever. All the colours of a lightsaber. All the colours. <laughs> or we can just go change them. That's unreal. Yeah, I mean, this is, this, this is beautifully done. This is a beautiful product. Do you know the brand name of it? No, I don't. Yeah, okay. No, we'll we'll just... find that out and we're going to put it up on the um, on the show for you because I don't know of anyone doing one that looks as nice as this. But secondly, like all the ones I've had sitting under 
they my hold. toe holds, you kick them and the diffuser breaks, yep. and then you end up kicking the lights off. Correct. And then nowhere near as neat as this for if you want to lay them in a helm. That, that is really, really nice. Uh, I'm sure someone in Australia will eventually start Absolutely, distributing yeah. this product because yep. it's very cool. And this is also, let's, let's show yes, it in the side underneath. pockets as well. Uh, yep. And is that from the same controller? All on is the it? same controller. Yeah. But you can control the colours independently? Yes. Yep. Very so they're cool. all, all on uh, individual controllers. I mean, and like this, this wheel is literally like if you were working, anyone that works in Photoshop or any of those um, kind of programs, it's the full spectrum. It's not just yellow, red. No, it's like red forward. into orange, into yellow, into whatever you want. Correct. Very, very cool. Uh, can you change brightness level or? No. That's, that's just it's set. Just, yep. Awesome. Uh, and you're just running, um, how many batteries have you got? We've got four batteries. Yep. Two house batteries, two engine batteries. Two engine batteries. Okay, cool. Then did you go for a particular battery brand at all? Or? Um, we just went, because we're in the st step there, we're limited for space. So you went what fitted? Yep. Okay, so here we are in the cabin. Again, we've got that awesome strip lighting underneath with the aluminium diffusers. Looks really nice. Change the colours. Set some mood in here, depending Absolutely. on what you're doing. Yeah, <laughs> not, um, <laughs> not with the two wogs. Not with the two wogs, though. Um, nice cushions done in a, in, and I guess a nice, you know, durable vinyl in a dark yep. colour. So when you stand on it, it's cool. Yep. I'm sitting on a toilet. Is Correct. That right? yep. Okay, so toilet, which is an awesome thing to have. Yep. I noticed as well. We didn't mention before. Nice windscreen wipers. Yep. For your um your screens. Yep. Um, now coast, it's coastal marine, isn't it? Coastline marine. Coastline marine. They've yep. done a beautiful job. Um, you've obviously got your batteries, your digital VSR system, which is awesome. Yep. Um, I noticed they use blue sea system fuse boxes, which are the best, and they've done an awesome job of the wiring and keeping this just really neat and clean. Um, it looks great. It's a really nice functional. Oh yeah, and you know, really big shelves. Yep. So you can you haven't stored anything here yet, but you'll have plenty to put in there when it's um, put in the water to when do it's that. go time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, all your life jackets and all that kind of thing. Um, they've done a good job, and I think that you know. As you were saying earlier, you wanted to fit this boat out the way you guys wanted to do it. Yep. You've, you've done it really well. She's really neat and nice. There's only a couple of things that you'd change. Uh, it's beautiful. And then the last thing, obviously, at the pointy end is your winch. I can see a plate there. Is that yep. a Lone Star? That is a Lone Star winch. Yep. That um, was all open Yep. Um, because we changed the the, the, um, the way the, the anchor come into the front. Yep. We put a full... Um, pad across the front there to stop any spray coming into the cabin. Nice. Or if you dump it into a wave in front, water can't come into the cabin. Nothing's going to come through here. No. Nope. Yep. So you, you guys ditched the whole horse pipe kind of look and yep. you've custom made like custom a fiberglass piece pipe. to go over the Absolutely. chain and where she comes through yep. into your well. But you can still, if you needed to access it, if something yep. went wrong, just up through the hatch and, and yep. over in. Absolutely. Very nice. And you've got quite a bit of headroom in here. Which is which is cool. Which I think in the Strawns, Strawns you get a bit more than the kind of normal Absolutely, formula. Absolutely, they're, yeah. they're a lot lower. So I think that's it, man. I think we've covered everything. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks heaps, Mick. Thank you. Gosh, really appreciate you uh, having part of our first episode and taking us through your awesome boat. And um, no, next thing is, man, suit on the water. Fishing. Yeah, need to go fishing. Let's go fishing. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Cool. Thank you very much.